In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be continuing our examination of the photosynthesis topic. And in particular, in today's video, we're looking at action spectra. Now, action spectrum shows the rate of photosynthesis for each wavelength of light as a percentage of the maximum possible. And don't worry, I will talk about this in greater detail. But let's first of all write what it is. And so what we're really saying here is that the efficiency of photosynthesis is not the same in all wavelengths of light because remember visible light is made up of lots of different colours and they all have different wavelengths. Now the graph I've inserted here is actually known as the action spectrum of photosynthesis so let's label that here. And if we look more closely at the graph we're looking really at where the peaks occur so if I put two small crosses, here are the highest points on the graph and they correspond to various wavelengths of light which we can read off at the bottom on the scale. Now the interesting thing here is that we can see that photosynthesis occurs most efficiently around 400 nanometers wavelength of light which corresponds to the violet blue section of the visible light spectrum and then we can also see that just over 700 nanometers we see great efficiency of photosynthesis and that occurs at the orange-red wavelength of light. So underneath the graph I'm going to write exactly what I've just said. So maximum photosynthesis rates occur firstly in blue light followed by in red light. Something else we can see from the graph is where photosynthesis rates are lowest. So that's this point on the graph which corresponds to the green yellow color. So let's write that minimum photosynthesis rates occur in green yellow light. But it's important to notice that some photosynthesis is still taking place here. After all, that graph line doesn't actually reach zero. And the reason for that is because although we know from a previous video, chlorophyll A and B are both very associated to red and blue light, there are further accessory photosynthetic pigments present which will absorb some green light that can therefore be used in photosynthesis. So to finish off, some photosynthesis occurs in green light due to accessory photosynthetic pigments which can absorb the green light. <laughs>